Hey guys, today we'll be talking about if making the switch to an all EV household is for you, so that conversation is coming up. Okay, well you know I run an EV channel here, so you know what my answer is going to be. Of course. And I think two of the big reasons we want to do this is one, it's better for the environment, and it's especially better if you have solar. And two, in the long run, it'll be cheaper. But right now, it's probably not going to be cheaper because of all of the inflation and supply chain issues. So if those ever go away, then it'll actually make a lot more sense and be cheaper. So if you're going to do this, there are some things to think about. So I think one of the big ones is, can you afford it? So if you're watching this video, I'm going to make the assumption that you can afford it. So that box is checked off. So we are very fortunate to be able to afford two EVs, and I'm sure the you'll feel the same way as well. And so looking into these upfront costs is, you know, what you're going to be looking at to basically save more money in the long run. So we have two Teslas, which are, you know, kind of expensive, but what you could do is consider some cheaper EVs in addition to maybe a luxury EV like a Tesla or an ID4 or a Mach-E or something like that. So there are quite a few EVs out there, and there are ones that are a lot cheaper. So my logic is maybe you need some sort of crossover, so a you know Model Y or Ionic 5 or something like that. So you get the kind of luxury EV, uh, you know, to cart on your family or whatever, and then maybe for the other car you get something cheaper that doesn't have as much range and can just get you around town because that's all you're going to need. So maybe for that second EV, you look for something like a Nissan Leaf or a Hyundai Kona, something that's a little bit cheaper but also can do home charging. And that leads me to my next point, which is home charging. So basically, if you don't have home charging with two EVs, I wouldn't even think about doing it. So home charging really makes EVs super convenient. So if you have one EV, maybe you can get away with supercharging it once a week or whatever, but it's still going to be inconvenient or try to level two charge it, you know, while you're doing groceries and things. But home charging for two EVs is a must because there's it's going to be basically impossible to try and charge two EVs, you know, at supercharging or you know, destination charging. It's just going to be too much of a hassle for you, so you definitely want to make sure you have home charging. And even at our house here, we only have one Nemo 1450, but that works totally fine for our two EVs. And probably because I work from home, which I think, you know, with COVID, a lot of people are working from home now. So basically, I'll charge my car during the day when the sun is out, and then my wife charges her car overnight because she has a job where she actually has to be in the office. Um, and so basically, it's like we have our own plugs, basically. Another point lots of people bring up with EVs is road trips. So that's something you're going to have to consider if you do a lot of road trips or not. For us, we don't really road trip at all very much, so it's not an issue for us and it's really easy having two EVs because we can just charge them from home all the time. And for us in particular, and I'm sure many parents out there, is if you have kids, you're not going to be driving eight hours straight. It just doesn't happen with kids. So basically that that's another reason why even if we were to road trip, it would actually make it a little bit easier because we have to stop. So when we stop, we'll just charge at the same time and no problem. So if you are that type of person that just wants to go maybe from here in NorCal all the way down to SoCal, one shot and no stopping, maybe just five minutes for gas and keep going, then maybe an all EV household isn't for you. But for us, it's totally fine because like I said, we have an infant, we have to stop. And so it's not a big deal. So personally, I feel like the road trip thing is still a big hurdle and a lot of people can't visualize putting up this upfront money to save money later. They would rather just put, you know, a small down payment down and, pay, and basically just pay more money over the long run, you know, more incrementally than really just throwing it all at once and then pr pretty much paying yourself back. And with that being said, on road trips, there's also a lot of people that can't wrap their head around basically just like, you know, if you have to take a break for a while or you're going to eat lunch, you just charge at the same time. It's not even a big deal and it doesn't cost you any more time. You know, you know, if you're to do gas and like I said, charge for five minutes, okay, well, that's one thing, but you probably want to stop and take a break, stretch your legs, things like that. So if you're going to do that anyways, having an EV is not really a big deal. You can just charge at that same time and you're ready to go after that. So those are the reasons I considered before going all EV. For us, it was a super easy decision because we don't really drive far or when we do drive, it's not far enough where we have to charge Twice in one day, we'll do our things, come back, and then charge at home at night, and it's no big deal. The transition has been really seamless, and we're going to be saving a bunch of money, and we never have to go to a gas station again. Would going all EV work for you? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.